This is a smart plasty. Uh, we can see here is molecule and the function heart rate, blood pressure, and uh, sports and uh, sleep monitoring. And this is the website of, uh, of the manufacturer. And it's for iOS and Android, also for tablets and the smartphones. Well, there's uh, the main part, and this is the band, and uh, a user manual, it's in English, I see it. And uh, for this band, it's uh, silicon, it's very soft and comfortable. So, this uh, flirting on the band, so it's uh, white proof and we can change it different colors like black blue red green and purple and well i like i like uh, this one right so i'll use this one and we can see this uh, usb port and uh, you can insert it directly into chargers and so that you can charge for it like this it's very convenient. Now this is the APP for Molecule Smart Band. First we connect to the Smart Band. Click it. It's connecting. And it connected. And the first one is uh, today. Today shows information of today's like uh, sport, sleep and heart rate. And sport, there's a data today this week and this month also the completion means uh, step target completed the step target is set in the target in settings and the sleep the sleep also have data of today this week and this month and uh, since there's no data today uh, well, yeah, this is the data of August 29th of May. Uh, the total sleep time is 6 hours and 39, uh, 37 minutes and uh, deep 2.6 hours, light 4 hours, stay up 2.3 hours. The sleep target is uh, 8 hours and uh, completion is 82%. Wake up time, why? not good sleep and heart rate there's a sleep average heart rate average heart rate highest heart rate and lowest heart rate and uh, you can see the calendar you can go to two months ago june two and a half months ago now uh, a long time data recorded here and also mine is settings like uh, user settings you can set name and height and weight and birthday and uh, things like uh, skin color selection i chose this one and the uh, calibration is a little low and uh, also touch it uh, i'll set it at uh, eight thousand steps per day and uh, sleep target eight hours you can set it six or four so suggested is eight hours so confirm and device management there's a continuous heart rate uh, the continuous heart rate means uh, when you keep it on and you the, the band will automatically test your heart rate every five minutes uh, there's a notice well a notice that uh, the standby battery life is about uh, 10 to 15 days if you keep the continuous heart rate monitoring on the battery life is about only three days so if you don't use continuous heart rate monitoring you just uh, turn it off it will save battery for you. And leave to the wrist button screen means when you lift your hand uh, like lace, 
you can brighten the screen and uh, also call remind when you keep it on uh, the band will remind you calls and uh, also short message all, all the same and do not disturb and uh, when you open it this uh, prompt uh, notifying you that after opening and at this period notification functions will be not uh, will not be available so and more reminders you can set it here like uh, linkedin uh, skype uh, whatever you have you can keep it on so that messages of this uh, app will be loaded and will show in your smart bracelet and also some uh, let's go back Mm, this uh, this one more reminders alarm clock settings uh, just the alarm and the time from my to 24 hours and uh, 12 hours and the unit is metric and uh, in parallel and I use metric site that factory site and uh, almost the form update uh, it's the latest version so I don't need to update it Mm. Well, also, this is a connected device. When you click it, the band will disconnect with your phone. And uh, this, they also shake snapshot. It means you when you shake your when you shake your bracelet, the, the it will remote control the your phone to take a photo. You can set it to look, uh, let's see, this timer off. So when you shake it, directly take a photo. Uh, I don't think it's really very useful since the smartphone is very smart now. And operating instructions, or oh, this is the instructions, like how to use some instructions and uh, there's a true directory of the history and uh, into motion mode and how you use the spot function and also frankly frequently ask the questions here you can find some answers and the feedback you can give some feedback here